Hi, I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President of JSA, and on behalf of 1623 Farnham, I'd like to welcome Mr. Brett Christensen. Brett is the Engineering Manager at Arvig. I'd also like to welcome my long-term friend, Mr. Todd Cushing. Todd is the President at 1623 Farnham. Gentlemen, thanks for taking the time to speak with me today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dean. Hey, Dean, thank you. You bet, you bet. So uh, Brett, let's go ahead and start with you. For uh, those who are watching that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Arvig? Sure, Dean, thanks. Um, Arvig has been around for quite some time, a little before my time. Back in uh, the 1950s, actually started in the telecom industry in a little mom and pop shop just uh, offering phone service. And boy, have we ballooned since then, 70 years later. And uh, um, myself, six years at Arvig, here we go. And so um, we provide um, internet, television, phone, HPBX, fiber transport business, you know, to business and residential customers. Um, we have our own owned 13,500 route fiber miles. Um, and that's what we really strive for is to uh, own that stuff so we can take advantage of that physical asset that we do have. Um, we serve more than 20,000 businesses today. Um, 700 medical facilities, over 350 E-rate, which we call schools and libraries. And then we've got over 54,000 internet customers alone. Um, and, you know, to the subject today, data centers, we are currently connected to 18 data centers across the upper Midwest. And uh, we operate in generally mostly Minnesota, um, big hubs in Minneapolis, Rochester, St. Cloud, headquarters in a little town called Perm, which is about an hour east of the Fargo-Moorhead area. And we have branched out into most of the upper Midwest states. Very cool. So you, uh, Brett, you mentioned the word ballooning. And I think that that's a great word for my next question, actually, because um, it, it appears that um, your network growth has um, ballooned considerably, um, you know, in recent months and years. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that network growth? Sure. So ballooning in, in my terms is network expansion and how, how do we, you know, look at our network and work with the 1623 Farnums and create those relationships. Um, you know, we start down with the simple residential end user all the way up to the township level, to the county level, state level, federal level, you know, where can we make the, the most bang for our buck and situation also providing that customer experience that people expect from us. You know, we are that smaller, we don't have that big carrier name touch feel to us yet. We're becoming that regional carrier in the space, um, but we are willing to, to reach out, grow. And, and this, this relationship with Todd has let us do that. You know, it was, it was kind of a leap of faith deal, right? We had nothing really outside of Minnesota. Um, started the conversations with Todd, we found a way to get a physical path to Nebraska, Omaha specifically. And, and it's amazing what you can do with two strands of fiber this day, right? So our system currently today has equipment in Minneapolis and, and equipment in Omaha. And between the two on the two strands of fiber is 64 channels. Each of those channels or lit windows um, supports up to 300 gigs of data. So if you do the math, uh, that is big bandwidth transport. And that's our everyday niche. That's what we're after, so. Excellent. So um, you, you started to, to get into the, uh, the relationship that you have with 1623. So why don't you tell um, our viewers a little bit about, uh, more about that relationship and ultimately, um, you know, how they, they're helping you kind of navigate that edge data center connectivity. For sure. So, so uh, one of our big demos is be easy to do business with. And that's exactly what I would describe this relationship with Todd and his team. Um, I went on site physically and, and Todd was there. Todd welcomed us at the front door. Todd shook our hands, pre-COVID, right? No masks. Yes. <laughs> um, he took us through the building. He took us through the floors. He took us to the meet me rooms. He took us to where our cross connects would be, the cages. He talked about the HVAC um, system in greater detail than my dad can. And he's a plumbing and heating guy, right? And so um, he knew Omaha. He knew the duct work system in Omaha. You know, and that's where Arvig is always like, well, who can we talk to, to talk to that next carrier that we don't even know exists today? You know, that wants to get to Minneapolis, that wants to get to Fargo, that 
we can leverage to get to Chicago. You know, those things, that's where we really leverage Todd, you know, creating those relationships. And, and it's, it's a positive partnership is what it really is. And what that allows us to do is set up a network to network interface in the term of telco is NNI, which basically is a piece of gear that lets us talk to another carrier, you know, without physically being on site. And if it's a hospital in, I'm going to say Omaha, that has a connection to a hospital in Minneapolis or Rochester, yeah, we're here to do business with those guys. Yeah, I get it. Um, and you know, you you mentioned Todd quite a bit, and he's mm -hmm. he's all the reason why anybody would need to go with uh, sixteen twenty three. But um, what, can you tell us a little bit about you know why you ultimately decided on sixteen twenty three aside from Todd? It's really truly about connectivity. Uh -huh. It's about the space. It's about the ease of getting in and out of there. Um, like I said, we've I think. And Todd helped me out, but I think you have about 50 or so other carriers that are in the co-location space at 1623 Farm. If that's not attractive, I don't know what is. You know, when we look at data centers today, even in the uh, Minneapolis area, you've got data centers that have three carriers, four carriers, five carriers. It may be that one carrier you want to talk to, but generally you want to get to a hub. You know, you want to get to Farnham. You want to get to Des Moines. You want to get to Chicago. You know, Minneapolis 511 building is the 1623 Omaha. It's two of a kind. You didn't even think there was apples to apples, but it is. Awesome. So uh, Todd, it's your turn. So I, I, Brett could not have set you up any better than he did. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, the relationship with Arvig? You know, it started, I think, as I recall, the back in the ITW days of Chicago. And we got to be friends with Tom Bros. And then... Uh, he he's just a very energetic person and upbeat and knows his network very smart but he and the team then we'd reconnect in atlanta at itw and he would introduce us to three or four other carriers and uh we were talking about coming in building a business case helping them figure it out i think they're at 13 states they're fiber to tower there's all kinds of angles in which they can touch and do things and um i always looked at their network as a bow tie stood on end so as it goes between the different cities it kind of comes down to the southwest corner that was could be Omaha. So they were going to come in through Sioux City, come down through Chicago. Um, alternate paths are, are great for us, you know, to Chicago. And uh, so we, could, we, we there was plenty of reason to, to have that route, need a need for the route. But it was uh, openness and sharing. But I, really what struck me was funny was there were at least three other carriers that have um, come our way sort of because of that relationship because because Tom just fills up a room and he's just – Hey, these guys are great. They're work easy to work with. He wasn't even in our facility yet. So he was on his way to coming in. We were working on the, um, the need and the business case, but we had become friends um, through the process of years of talking about when it made sense. We'd love to have you in our facility and this is what's going on. And, and they, on their end, wrapped up the business need. And it's been great. They're very professional. They've got a, a really neat cage in our facility. And uh, we're real proud to have them in. Outstanding, Todd. Let's go ahead and stick with you. Um, you know, for for you know the benefit of of um, your customers and your customers' customers. Why don't you talk about what the relationship does in that regard? So um, the the benefits ultimately to your customers, Todd. So there's a lot of people that know about other carrier names, and it's like Brett said. Our, our big isn't necessarily a household. It's a, if you're a geeky telecom person or you're in the business, you might you would know about them in the region. But if you mention and then they start, people start to drill down on their network and what they could provide and their longevity in the space, it sells itself. So there, it's a, it's a great option if you're trying to go from Omaha to Chicago, Omaha up northwest, and you get up into other uh, Moorhead or other places, you know, into all the way to Duluth, right? It's it's they can they can take care of that and more and so it's a it's a real easy uh comfortable conversation it's just it's straight up so we really feel comfortable when we we're carrier neutral but we, we can make a suggestion if somebody's trying to get to an area and they don't know of an arvig mm -hmm. and we can say well this is something that could work we know they're in great hands excellent and brett same question um you know what what's what are the benefits to your end user customers um as minimal downtime, you know, with, with Todd's team, they have a, a product called Remote Hands, right? And, you know, most of us, our big staff being in Minnesota, 
it's a six, seven hour trip if I got in my truck and left right now. Um, if we had to, if, you know, physically go on site to fix something, by the time we get there, get car to access and get in, it's, you're talking seven, eight hours of an outage. You, you can't have this day and age with service uh, level agreements and the needs uh, of people essentially moving home because of the COVID pandemic, right? Um, and then when you work together, as Todd said, you know, you can keep those costs down very minimal, right? And so um, just the, the welcomingness of that team helps support our network. And as he said, you know, he, he used Arvig as an example, and we're thinking of the other providers that we don't know about today. We already are part of a collaboration over the last 12 months because of what we've done at Farnham. Um, we became part of a, a new team that we didn't even know exist of companies like ourselves to help do distribution. And when we can work together, you know, we can provide that customer experience, uh, the level of service, and we can compete at a low cost offer, which probably doesn't make sense to people who aren't familiar with the path, but it sure works well. Outstanding. Gentlemen, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I appreciate it and uh, be happy and healthy. Thank you. Dean. Yeah, same to you, Dean. Thanks. You bet.